uh, Kat now. And Kat, as you mentioned, the challenges of because the traditional channels of advertising are kind of not available and you have to figure out your own ways of doing that product education through the other channels which are available. Uh, how do you differentiate or uh, what are those few unique things that you do uh, for creating that product education or for transferring the knowledge about your products to your end consumers? How do you do that? Well, before the pandemic, of course, like these other CBD brands, you know, we used to go out in the public mm -hmm. and that was key because, you know, visiting those public sectors where there's a lot of people milling around gives you the opportunity to get one-on-one, -on -one, get their questions, give out samples, allow them to give you feedback and then utilize that feedback in bettering your business. Mm -hmm. um, you know, now we have to do a lot of things online. So I'm becoming a lot more creative with our social media. Um, mm -hmm. We had kind of gone towards doing what everybody else was doing on social media. And it was starting to look really corporate. And that's not what my company was built off of. Mm -hmm. You know, like these other CBD brands here, you know, we were built off of us having an experience with CBD. You know, my husband was military and it helped him with the things that, that he got from you know, post-traumatic stress and from just the strain of the military. And so, you know, using that and adopting that now in our social media has allowed us to make our, our connections again with our customers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those connections are key to our marketing strategy. Um, mm -hmm. Also, you know, educational blogs, I hear, you know, that these other companies are also doing that because it's our only way to reach out. And we yeah. put together, you know, booklets and and working with our wholesalers to help educate them more because the more they can spread the word to their customers, the more marketing we're going to get for free. Mm -hmm. And of course, we want the customer to return to us. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of customer follow-up, which then they're going to turn around and tell their friends and family, hey, this is the company that I want to use. Mm -hmm. So that's more free marketing. So really, you know, building a CBD company in, in this space and in the past it was all about how the customer responds to your brand, right. to your products, and who they're going to reach out to, mm -hmm. to help with, with you know, furthering that. Wow, that, that's a very, very amazing thought process. Uh, and uh, kudos to you that you're taking, because I think when you are, when you are solving a problem, I think you figure out tremendous or uh, various ways actually, and there's no obstacle as such, I think, and I think with a product, better product education, it's just a matter of time that it becomes more mainstream and people are more aware of it. And then it becomes so easy. And then you, you do not have to kind of, you can then spend your uh, creativity on, on other types of marketing. So I really like that, Kat. Thank you so much. Uh,